Now, here at the Young Turks, we've always been slightly biased against Bill Weir. Why? Well, I'll tell you. Uh, Bill was uh, up for a job against Ben Mankiewicz at one point, like a million years ago, literally a dozen years ago. And I knew about that, and of course, since Ben's a good friend of mine and uh, my longtime co host, um, I, of course, was rooting for Ben, and Bill got the job. And I have hated him ever since. Now, he later went out, and that job was irrelevant and turned out to be a pilot that didn't even get picked up. So it wasn't that big a deal. He later went on to ABC, and now he's a CNN anchor. Turns out, my irrational hatred of Bill Weir was totally wrong. <laughs> I kind of knew that. So now we love Bill Weir. Why? Because of one phenomenally awesome tweet. Now, uh, it is in regards to uh, something that's going on in Denver. Now, in Denver, they're having EPA hearings about uh, the power plant emission rules. And guess who showed up? Al Gore did, right? And uh, of course, then Fox News Nation uh, steps into the issue here. And they've got such a clever title because you see, in the middle of summer, it turns out Denver was 58 degrees. They got him. So here's the headline. Climate doesn't cooperate with Al Gore's group's visit to Denver EPA hearings. <laughs> so, okay, Bill Weir then, mind you, he's a CNN anchor, tweets out Weather is not climate, you willfully ignorant fucksticks. <laughs> wow, Bill Weir for the win. That's awesome. Now, God help him. CNN, please, please don't punish him for saying things that are true. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bill, uh, your past crimes, I pardon you. <laughs> he probably had no earthly idea that he was even up against Ben Mankiewicz or that we had, had caught any kind of feelings towards him. <laughs> and of course, we're just mainly kidding around, mainly. Uh, <laughs> but now, Bill, uh, we love you, brother. Go get him.